Hello again, everybody. Yesterday's card trick video of the day on my website, thecardtrickteacher.com, is an ingenious mentalism card trick performed by Zach Closeup Magic. He actually does the tutorial. Zach is a winner of one of my contests. He never used to believe in doing tutorials. Now he does what he calls Zachatorials. You guys should check out his channel. He's got some great card tricks and he's doing a lot of tutorials. Zach Closeup Magic, check out his channel and subscribe. Now this card trick is self-working and it is brilliant. It will amaze people. Let me show you how the trick is done. I'm not gonna actually perform it. I'm just gonna teach it to you if you haven't already seen it on my website. What we're going to need are five key cards. So our five key cards are going to be the two, four, six, eight, and ten of hearts. Now, rather than using the ace through five, these are easy enough to remember. Two, four, six, eight, and ten of hearts. And those cards have to start on top of the deck just like that. Now we start the trick off. We can give the cards a shuffle, maintaining those five cards right on top of the deck. And we can also give the cards false, a false cut. And just so it looks like we're mixing up the cards and now we tell the spectator we're going to deal the cards into five piles now as long as the first card is the two four six eight and ten the first five cards we deal are our five key cards this trick will work then we continue dealing the cards so we have five cards in each of the five piles Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to tell each spectator that we'd like them to pick up a pile and memorize one card and then shuffle the cards. So spectator number one lifts up his pile and says, okay, and he wants to memorize the nine of spades and he shuffles his pile. And we have him, spectator number one, write down, number one, write down the nine of spades. Now, if we're doing it to one person, we want them to write the cards down. If we're doing the trick to five people, they can each remember their own card without writing it down. Spectator number two, look at your cards. What card would you like? Spectator number two wants the king of hearts, so he mixes up the cards. And spectator number two writes down the king of hearts. Spectator number three looks at his cards and says... I have two pair. So he looks at his cards and says, I want the eight of diamonds. So he mixes up the cards. And spectator number three writes down the eight of diamonds. Spectator number four looks at his cards and says, I want the ace of hearts. Of course, he's not saying this out loud to you. He's memorizing the ace of hearts, writing it down. So spectator number four writes down the ace. I'm going to draw a heart. The Ace of Hearts, A-H. And spectator number five looks at his cards and decides he wants the Jack of Hearts. So he mixes up his cards. And spectator number five wants the Jack of Hearts. Okay, so now there are all the selections. We ask the spectators to mix their cards again, make sure that they're happy, that tell them there's no possible way we could know what card they're thinking about because each one of these piles has five cards and they're all thinking of a different card. There's no way we could possibly know that. Now we have one spectator point to the piles they'd like us to pick up one at a time. This is important because when we want to pick them up one at a time and stack them in the order that they say. So we could pick up this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. Now we're going to deal the cards out in five cards. As long as we're dealing uh, one set of five at a time, we can put them anywhere. We can go diagonally. Next time we can go around in the corners, right in the center. Next time we can just go like this. And then the last time we could just go just like this. So the spectator can decide how we deal the cards out. So now the cards are really mixed up. And once again, we can have them tell us how they want us to stack them. This one on top of this one, on top of this one, on top of this one, and on top of this one. And now we ask the spectator to give the cards a cut. They could cut the cards anywhere they want and complete the cut. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take off five cards off the top. One, two, three, four, five. We're not going to reverse the order. We're just going to flip them over and spread them out. So there's the first set of five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to flip them over. And there's the second set of five cards right there. 
And then one, two, three, four, five. We'll spread those out right there. There's the third set of five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Right over here is the fourth set of five cards. And right over here, one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth set of five cards. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ask the spectator number one. Spectator number one, what pile do you see your card in? Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for our first key card, the two of hearts. We're going to spot the two of hearts is second from the top. So whatever pile they tell us that their card is in, it's going to be second from the top. So their card, spectator number one's card, was the nine of spades. They're going to see the nine of spades in this pile. As soon as they tell us their card is in this pile, we're going to say your card is the nine of spades, second from the top. The second spectator, his card was the king of hearts. Our second key card is the four of hearts. We spot the four of hearts is on the bottom. We ask them what pile their card is in. Here's the king of hearts right here. They tell us their card is in this pile. And immediately we know that it's the king of hearts because our second key card was on the bottom. The third spectator's card was the eight of diamonds. We're looking for our third key card, the six of hearts. It's second up from the bottom. And they tell us that they see the eight of diamonds right here in this pile. And the card second up from the bottom is the eight of diamonds. So we know that that's their card. The fourth spectator's card is the ace of hearts. We're looking for our fourth key card, the eight of hearts. The eight of hearts is on the top of this pile. They tell us their card is in this pile. So we know that their card is the top card the Ace of Hearts. And the fifth spectator's card is the Jack of Hearts. We're looking for our fifth key card, the Ten of Hearts. The Ten of Hearts is smack in the middle of this pile, and they tell us that the Jack of Hearts, or they tell us their card is in this pile, and the card smack in the middle of this pile is the Jack of Hearts, and we know that their card is the Jack of Hearts. Now, if they should happen to select the two, four, six, eight, or Ten of Hearts, and they tell us that their card is in this pile, then that's the card that they selected. It will be the card, the two, four, six, one of our key cards. If that's the pile they point to, then that'll be the card they selected. This is an ingenious trick. It will have people completely baffled. It will amaze people because how did you do it? How did you get all five cards right? I'm amazed. I think it's a brilliant card trick. Let me know what you guys think. That's it. Thank you, Zach Close Up Magic. Everybody check out and subscribe to Zach Close-up magic. That's it. I'll see you next time.